What up guys, this is JVK Pop here and today I just wanted to do, uh, you know, some kind of like a vlog video, basically just talking about AOA. Um, I just thought I wanted to do a video just because they're one of my favorite girl groups right now and I was like, hey, I got other CDs so maybe I'll take some time to, you know, just talk about them and show you guys my collection. Uh, it's not that big, but then again, they haven't had that many releases, so it's basically, you know, everything they've dropped so far. But yeah, I just thought, you know, maybe I should take some time to talk about my favorite girl group. Now, this is their first album, and this is uh, Angel Story. Now, I have unboxings for all these, keep in mind, except for maybe their latest release, which uh, I still have to film, but that'll be out soon, so definitely keep an eye out for that. But yeah, this is their first album, and it has Elvis on it, so now here's an intro to the group. Now, they're an, a seven-member group, with exception for that girl, Yu Kyung which she actually plays drums for the band when they do their band thing but she's kind of like a half member I don't know she's part of AO, AOA Black the subunit but as for you know actually being a part of the group she's like kind of like a half member and this al uh, album is pretty dope the packaging is amazing and it has uh, the song Elvis on it the regular version the band version so such a dope release so that's their first album, and I love it. Elvis, to this day, is one of their best concepts thus far. Right here is their second single album, Wannabe, with the song uh, Get Out on it. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty dope release. It's a pretty simple, you know, um, you know, casing. But this also has all eight members, including, you know, Yoo Kyung in there. And, uh, yo, my favorite member has to be Jimin. But, yo, lately I've been feeling... You know, Chan, Mi, and Yoon. I like them all. They're so great. <laughs> so that's their second release. I got their third release right here. AOA's Black. Moya. And this is the subunit of it. This is actually, I think, the last release that we've seen with Yoo Kyung in it. Keep mentioning her because people always forget about her. She's a drummer, though. This is so dope. And then this is their fourth Red Motion, it actually has a song Confused on it, which the song, if you forget, right before Miniskirt came out, it was, they were literally back to back though, so, also have an unboxing for this, I love this, so that's it, I have their fifth single, which is Miniskirt, their famous thing, this, they got this little tag thing on it, I ain't got time for <laughs> to be opening this, if you want to see the inside, just check out the, the unboxing I have for it, so that's their fifth single. Then finally they dropped the mini album. And this is uh, Short Hair. Pretty dope album. Real good songs on there. Now here's their Japanese release of Mini Skirt. Which literally is just um, a Japanese version of Mini Skirt. And I think it's Short Hair also. Yeah, I think it's uh, Mini Skirt, Short Hair, and Get Out. So... Some of the basically just translated some of their concepts, but uh, pretty dope to have if you're a AOA fan. I think this is the Type B because there's two covers on it. They have an alternate, but I didn't get both versions. I just got one. And then this is their newest version, AOA. Um, I will do an unboxing for that. As you can see, I still have the photo card in there because I'm saving it for the the unboxing. But. And as of now, this is actually my favorite release by them, Like a Cat, because I think this is their first, like, really conceptual release since, like, maybe Moya, because they started out with Elvis, which had the angel theme. Wannabe had, like, basically all the different, you know, empowered female roles. Moya was the band thing, but then after that, Confused Miniskirt and Short Hair were kind of just, like, sexy concepts with no real direction. With exception, um, short hair did have, have like, you know, the whole, I mean, it's literally a song about short hair, so I mean, in terms of a concept, it's not that strong, but musically it's strong. And I guess the good thing and the reason why I love AOA so much is like, unlike a lot of girl groups, these girls actually have like the instrumentation behind it. They're actually like a band, they can play instruments, and I think that's something that not only sets them apart from other girl groups, but will in the long run you know whether they decide to act upon it or not has the opportunity to extend their longevity because you know there's a lot of groups going into the sexy concept realm right now there's um you know girls day there's uh 
Hello Venus, Dal Shabet. So there's a lot of, you know, girl groups going into the sexy uh, arena. And, uh, you know, these girls, it's easy to fall by the wayside, but hopefully, you know, they at some point go back to the band component. Not that I have a problem with the sexy thing. I just think it's something that sets them apart from other groups. So, yeah, this was just a quick video I just wanted to do for you guys. Let me know if you like videos like this. This is literally just going to be me chilling, just some extra content for you guys and um, better opportunity for you guys to, you know, us AOA fans to gather together, discuss in the comments below, you know. What what do you guys think about it? What's your favorite uh, concept by them? Your favorite song? If you have any of the albums, which one's your favorite? I think, you know, in terms of packaging, literally, they've all been the same since they started with the format and Wannabe. Only their first album really has, like, super cool packaging. But, yeah, so this is JVK Pop. I love you guys. Bye.